Hey guys, I hope everyone is staying safe, staying home and helping to stop the spread of COVID-19. Now, a quick tip to help you with your business. I'm gonna give you three WordPress plugins that you must have, stay tuned. Now, number one, let's talk about a backup plugin. Now, the reason I'm gonna mention a backup plugin, and I'll tell you which one I recommend, is because a lot of people during the isolation period, during self-isolation, are dabbling in their own website backend, and that's fine, that's totally great, that's fantastic, but if you make a change that you don't know how to reverse, you're gonna wish you had a backup. So, the backup plugin that I recommend is WordPress All-in-One Migration. Now, just do a search in the WordPress plugins directory for all-in-one migration, and it is a free plugin. That being said, there is a charge of, I think it's about 69 US dollars if your website is over 500 megabytes, okay? So I recently had to restore a website for a client, and the client was very grateful that I had uh, made a backup of their site, uh, but that particular site was over 500 meg, and therefore I had to have the pro version. Uh, most websites aren't that big, so don't worry too much. But again, guys, all-in-one migration, that is the first plugin that I recommend. Number two, of course, is WooCommerce. Now, all of you are looking at how to make money at home online at the moment, and if you're using WordPress, which I think you should be doing as opposed to other platforms, then you're gonna need an e-commerce handler. And WooCommerce is the e-commerce handler I recommend for WordPress. It has been established a long time. I've been using WooCommerce for about 20 years since its first uh, inception, and it is very strong. It is very robust, and they have great support. They have a chat support that is live, and they have a ticket system as well. But I've rarely had to use a ticket system. I can usually get someone live on chat. And let me tell you, that is what you're paying for. When you, um, when you look at an e-commerce handler, you wanna have a support system that is ready to go and answer your questions immediately, okay? <laughs> Number three is the WooCommerce subscriptions plugin. So WooCommerce plugs into WordPress and WooCommerce subscription also plugs into WordPress but speaks to the WooCommerce plugin. Uh, if, that, if you're new to WordPress, that may be a little bit difficult to understand, but it's very easy. They plug in, you, you click on activate and boom, it's up and running. But what WooCommerce subscriptions will allow you to do is just that. It will allow you to take subscriptions. So now you can start to sell things like memberships or uh, restricted content on your website to members only and have them on a repeating credit card uh, billing. Now, I was looking at the Facebook forums this morning and someone was asking, how can I, what's, what's another way to charge my clients aside from PayPal? Now, this particular person had never heard of uh, subscription software even though you know most of us have got a subscription that we pay for like Adobe or Netflix or something like that we all pay with a subscription through our credit card you can do the same okay you can charge subscriptions now I've made vlogs on this before but I would like to repeat the importance of that now if you have a website then you can charge for subscriptions figure out what you can sell on an ongoing basis whether it be knowledge whether it be blogs whether it be videos whether it be downloads whatever you can sell something and you can charge a certain amount of money and that can come into your bank account on a fortnightly uh, weekly monthly basis okay look into that so guys i hope those three wordpress plugins have helped you today if you need any more help please reach out via the link above or below and i'm happy to chat with you today thank you bye